Hey guys, and welcome to another very exciting visual effects. Whoa, whoa. You feel that? Well, welcome to another very exciting visual effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple and very powerful technique in Adobe After Effects. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add camera shake in Adobe After Effects. This technique is really useful for enhancing the appearance of your explosion effects or your destruction effects. By adding some camera shake, you're simply going to make the effect feel a little bit more real to the user. It's like the camera is shaking because of the force of the explosion. This is going to be a fairly basic tutorial for Adobe After Effects, so you should not have any issues following along, even if you're just getting started. But without further ado... Well, without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Here I have the final clip from my roof crash destruction tutorial. If you haven't watched the tutorial, it is a simple clip of me crashing through the roof with lots and lots of bits and pieces flying around. Now the effect itself is actually pretty cool, but what would make it even better is if there was a little bit of camera shake at the beginning, just when I'm crashing through the roof. This will give the destruction effect a lot more impact because it's like the camera that is filming the scene is shaking from the impact of the crash. In order to create camera shake, we're basically going to shake around this footage. And because I don't want to keyframe this manually, we're going to use a simple expression. In order to do that, simply make sure your layer is selected and press P to reveal the position property and then alt click onto the little stopwatch icon. Over on the right side, the expression editor will open up. In here, simply type wiggle open bracket 10, 100 and close the bracket. Then click anywhere outside of the expression editor. The wiggle expression will randomly alter the position of our footage layer every frame. And we've specified to do this 10 times a second by a value of up to 100. So if you scrub through your footage now, you will see the footage layer jumping around wildly. This kind of looks like camera shake, but obviously you don't want that to happen throughout the entire clip. You only want it to happen a little bit when I'm crashing through the roof. Note that we can control the amount of shake that happens by changing the second parameter here, the strength of the wiggle effect. So if you set this to 10 and then scrub through your footage, the frequency of the wiggle effect is exactly the same. It's 10 times a second, but the amount that the footage gets offset by is a lot less. We want to animate the strength of the wiggle effect to kick in strong just as I'm crashing through the roof and then slowly subside as the camera stops shaking. Unfortunately, you can't actually add keyframes to an expression, but you can use expression controls. I have a separate tutorial on expression controls and I'm going to put a link to that tutorial in the description of this video. So now go over to the effects and presets panel and search for the slider expression control. Apply the slider control to your footage layer. The slider control simply exposes a simple slider value that you can set and keyframe to anything that you want, but by itself this control does absolutely nothing. The reason they're called expression controls is because these are controls that you usually tie in with your expressions to control, for example, the amount of wiggle that you apply to your footage. What we want to do is we want to tie the value of this slider to the strength of our wiggle effect. And that is actually really easy to do. All you have to do is make sure that in your layer window, under the effects, you can actually see the slider control and maybe expand this a little bit more so that you can see the slider value. Then go back into your wiggle expression. So we're going to have wiggle open bracket 10 comma and now select everything that you specified for the second parameter. So it'll be comma absolutely nothing. Then go over to the left, select the pick whip icon and drag it onto the slider value. Let go and that will insert a little expression into your wiggle effect which specifies the strength of the wiggle effect comes from the value of the slider expression control. Click outside of the text editor to apply this expression. Right now, if we scrub through the footage, it shakes quite a bit. And that's because the value of our slider is set to minus 34. So if you set this to zero and scrub through your footage, the footage does not shake at all. However, if you increase the slider value to, let's say 100, you can already see the footage being offset and scrub through, your footage will shake a whole lot. So basically this slider value now controls the strength of the wiggle effect and the great thing is that we can actually keyframe this slider value. In order to add a little bit of camera shake to the roof crash effect, go back to the beginning of your footage, reset your slider value to zero, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a keyframe to the slider and jack this up to let's say maybe a hundred. Then move forward a couple of seconds or however long you want your camera shake to last and reset the slider value to zero. This will add a second keyframe so the slider will now animate from 100 at the beginning down to zero. And if you play this back, you will see you get quite a bit of camera shake just at the beginning and then it subsides. We're almost done, but there is one small thing that we need to fix up. And that is the fact that as our footage is shaking around, you can see black borders. There are two ways to solve this problem. The first one is simply to scale up your footage layer. And if you scrub through this, no black borders will be visible anymore. The other option is, and that does not always work, it kind of depends on your footage, is to apply the motion tile effect. So let's try this out. Go over to your effects and presets panel, search for the motion tile effect and apply it to your layer. In the motion tile effect settings, you want to increase the output width and the output height to, I mean, it doesn't need to be that big, it just needs to be maybe 200 or so, which will output twice the width and twice the height of your footage that is being fed into the effect. Now, this does not actually look any good. You can see the edges are really, really ugly. That is happening because motion tile by default simply repeats your footage to the right, to the left, upwards and downwards. What we want to do is we want to enable the mirror edges checkbox in the motion tile effect. What this will do, and you can kind of see this, it basically mirrors the edges so this footage gets repeated, but it gets repeated mirrored so that the edges line up. Now for this particular piece of footage, it does not actually work too well. You can see the front of the van being duplicated and it kind of looks like the road just suddenly ends. Given that the effect is very, very short, that might not be too much of an issue and I recommend you try this out. If you don't like this solution, simply scale up your footage a little bit to get rid of the black borders. The very last thing I recommend you do to make this camera shake seem a little bit more realistic is to enable motion blur on the layer and on your composition. In order to do that, make sure you can see the motion blur switch on your layer. If you can't see it, be sure to click the toggle switches and modes button and there are all your switches for the layer. So this one here with the three circles is the motion blur option. Simply enable that on the layer, but you will still not see any motion blur and that's because on your composition you also need to enable motion blur. So enable this switch as well. And voila, you will have motion blur applied to your footage as it shakes. This will greatly enhance the appearance of your camera shake effect simply because if you shook an actual camera while filming, your frames would come out pretty blurry. Let's go back to the beginning of the composition and play back our effect with the final camera shake applied. Remember, you can use camera shake to enhance all sorts of effects from explosions to destructions to even punches, anything you want to add a little bit more impact to. It is such a simple technique to apply and it has a great many uses, so do try it out for yourself and have some fun with it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, please leave any comments, questions or suggestions in the section below. Please remember to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button up there. Hit that like button and share the video around. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more, you can also find and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Whew.